How to make Daft Punk get lucky 80 style typography. Original has more glass look that you will achieve if you tweak our end result. There are two versions of font, but the first one crashes if you use letter P. Create basic composition. Write a text and adjust letters position using tools in character panel. Add space between individual letters or kerning by selecting letter and adjusting tracking parameter. Also, you can change individual letter sizes and their vertical position. Add spaces before letters to move whole word position. Change line height while selecting whole word. Duplicate our text and pre-compose both copies. In composition settings, 3D renderer select Cinema 4D. Make text layer 3D by clicking on the cube icon. Click on arrow near our text, then geometry options, add bevel styles angular and depth 7. Create new solid, add gradient ramp, colorama and hue saturation effects. Drag saturation to zero, and in Colorama, in Output Cycle, select Caribbean. Recompose solid, select it, and go to Layer Environment Layer. In material options of text, turn on cast shadows and crank reflection intensity to 100. Create new light. Type spot intensity 50, con 180 and very large radius. Change the position of light to cover a whole text. Open up Precom text copy and change text color to black. Make sure the text is 3D. Click on the little cube icon. Go back to our Precoms and create new camera with the default preset of 35mm for example. Select camera layer and go edit copy with property links. Paste cameras inside both of our precom. Now if you'll press C and move camera, it'll move inside both of our comps. Add curves and levels effect to our bevel layer and tweak curves line to enhance mental look of our text. Create new adjustment layer, put it above our layers and add turbulence displays with small size so it will ripple type to appear more rough. Create new black solid, it's important to have background for this to work. Create new adjustment layer and add directional blur, 45 degrees and large length. Add curves and make S-shape contrast. Add brightness to 150 and contrast down. Make two duplicates of that layer and change blue direction to minus 45 and 90 degrees. Change blending mode to screen.
play around brightness and contrast and curves to make effect more visible. Add new adjustment layer with curves and brightness and contrast and play around them to make image pop. Create new black solid, pre-comp it and open it. Add lens flare to it. Set 105 mm prime type and put flare center dot in the middle. Press S on solid layer, the link scale parameter and squash the flare so it look like a ray. Make two copies, rotate one and scale up the other one to look like a glow ball. Add adjustment layer with brightness and contrast and make it look like a twinkle glow. Press T on global layer and alt click on timer icon. It will open expressions panel. Write there wiggle 5 and 20. So it will wiggle 5 times per second with 20 unit spray. Add same expression but on rotation for other rays. Press R to open rotation option. Go back to comps, put flare layer to screen mode and add set channels effect. Set alpha to source 4 to luminance. It will remove black background of flare that sometimes can be visible. Duplicate flares, change their sizes and rotation to fit your work. Add random expression to opacity. Random 70 100 will make parameter jump between those two values. Repeat same for other flares, it will make them appear twinkling. Add random 4070 expression to brightness so whole composition would also twinkle. Create new adjustment layer and add sharpen and unsharpen masks and sharpen again. That's a basic trick to achieve 80s VHS style look. Add curves, put blacks or bottom dot higher so black would be washed out. Camera shake wiggle expression is quite resource heavy. It's better to apply to the whole comb, but whatever. 
create new adjustment layer and add glow effect with big radius. Also you can add adjustment layer and add posterized time effect to make video a bit sketchy.